Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the second semifinal match of the TLS Season 2. Game number one was amazing. And uh, I hope the rest of the series can be just as entertaining. So, we are going on to game number two on match points. Technics, of course, did clinch game number one just barely there at the end. And so he's going to go into the into game number two with a lead here in the series. But it's okay, it's a best of five. Plenty of games left to come. And, uh, yeah, match point should be quite interesting. So, let's just go straight into it. Alright, game number two. At the bottom left as the TL Terror, we do have KT Terror. He's not really on KT. Or maybe he was, I don't know, maybe he's in some secret training. And uh, at the top right, as the Brown Zerg, we have Technics BG. And it's like, oh, six supply, time to kick Tupac. Ready? Six supply, and... Oh no, he messed up the build order, Tupac, what are you doing? Alright, seven, seven. Eight! No, oh, eight supply this time. He survived for two more supply. That Tupac man, he's pretty tenacious. But we got rid of him in the end. So, at the bottom left. I assumed they wouldn't even have an Observer at all, because I thought Terror couldn't have Observer in his games. Because in, in previous tournaments, I know he always says he has to host and he can't have OBS. Whoa! Whoa! Mm, okay, that's just... Where, where's this guy going? Where do you, you guys think this guy's going? Hmm... Curious. So he's gonna build a wall here, that should be link type. Is this gonna build a secret second barracks? Or is he just gonna 14cc? And scout with this. He's going to... Let's make an SCV, so it looks like he's gonna command center first. And just uh... Oh, he's doing an eBay block! Ah, I see what you did there! So look at the Technics, he's all like, humdy dumdy dum, time to 12 hatch- Oh wait, what the shit?! Oh man, this drone, he's pretty mad. He's pretty mad. So, that's a pain in the butt. And this SCV's gonna build as long as possible and just leave it there and he can cancel it whenever. Oh, that is a huge, gigantic pain in the butt. Oh man, and oh, in the meantime he's getting a gas too. Oh god, Terror doing the dirty. Oh man, see this this is the kind of stuff that Terror's just been doing. This is how he beat Michael, just doing the dirty. Oh, oh man, have to take a shower after this. This is a dirty, dirty, dirty opening. So, uh, so what what is the follow up here? Does he go one fact into two poor? Does he just go? Some kind of biomech off one base, you know. Uh, what what is the transition here? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. But whatever it is, he's actually forced Technics into a one hatch lair. <laughs> this is amazing. Like Technics doesn't even want to build the hatchery anywhere else. He's not gonna like put it off location. He's just actually gonna wait until he kills us, and he's gonna kill it now. He's actually timed it, so he's gonna kill it when he has 300 minerals. I don't know if this. I don't know how this has happened, but somehow this is actually t perfect time. Look at this, he just killed it and now he's 300 minerals. That's pretty crazy. And that lair is also ridiculously fast. So we have the factory, of course. Now, he's still mining gas, so I feel like this is gonna be two port. This, this seems to me like a two port wraith, but we'll see. Man, that lair is really fast. Um, so that SCP gets picked off, of course. Technics has this, uh, Hatchery now, and he hasn't built a den or anything, so he is still gonna go for essentially a two hatch muta. But, uh. No, it's gonna be a second factory. What? Craziness. Oh, he's now pulled a guy off gas. Okay, I was gonna say. Usually, if you go two factory, you only have two guys on gas. I thought he was going two port because he had three. But he has actually pulled one off now. Um, so he's actually going for a two fact follow up. 
That is interesting, because he's going to be facing two Hatch Muta, and from the NCD scout, he should sort of have guessed, expected, that he would be facing two Hatch Muta here from Technics. Um, and the fact that he delayed this hatchery lot is, is really quite nice in this, so you can see Technics having very little gas to actually work with here. Um, I mean, actually, by the time this is finished, he can probably actually maybe make five or six mutas? Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe he's actually not that bad. I think he'll probably be able to make five. Maybe not six. Eh, yeah, I'm not sure. But, uh, it's, it's definitely messed him up. In the build, at least. And, oh man, Terry, he's doing the Vulture thing again! I think he did this against Michael, too. I think when he did it against Michael, it didn't work, though. From what I remember. And he, But he also didn't get the Engineering Bay block. What is that? Oh man, for a second I thought that was one of Terra's units. I was just looking on the mini maps, like, what the hell is that? But, uh, anyway, it looks like we have an immediate Sunken here. Um, but one Sunken is not going to be enough if he doesn't block as well. And this is actually quite a wide space to block. Even if he pulls the drones across, it's going to be quite difficult when these speed vultures come down. He's going to have to have a really good reaction. Although he will probably get some, he will get some early warning though, uh, with the, when the vultures come out to stop these links because he's going to need these vultures to actually attack now. Yep, so the deeper falls, but immediately... Oh, he's going to grab a vulture as well! That's actually quite huge! If you can grab a second one, that would be just ridiculous. Uh, he's only going to get one though. Really, Terra should not have actually even lost that single one. So now, now Technics knows and he is going to be able to block this up. He just needs to build like two Evos or something. And just cancel one when, when they can't run by. Because he obviously can't build a hatchery here because of the thing. And he doesn't have enough money as well. But he should just build two Evos. No? What? Wait, what? Is he gonna trap it? What? What? Why didn't you block it? Was he just gonna rely on Zerglings to block it? I don't understand. I think he just lost the game because he didn't bother to make like two evolution chambers. I mean, there's no way that these lanes are going to kill Speed Vultures now. Although they are actually quite damaged already, and Terra's not doing the best micro. I mean, this is like impossible. Okay, at least he has Mutas on the way. But that should not have been allowed. And all those lanes that he made are completely useless. These Vultures should actually kill some of these drones, because Mutas are about to pop. Man! Why was that allowed to happen? Anyway, these guys are going to run around a little bit. And looks like he's just going to buy time. He's going to run circles. <laughs> the Mutas can't catch him, because the Vultures are too fast. LOL! Oh, get it! Get it! Uh, <laughs> shoot it! Shoot him! Shoot him! Also, if they change directions too quickly, uh, the Muta still can't get him. Oh my, alright, come on! Not a Vulture! Not a Vulture! Let's go! Not a Vulture! Just kill every single drone! Let's do it! Uh, 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 he's not dying! He is not dying! Oh, he wants one! Oh, he's not gonna get it, though. Not gonna get it. Alright, what's going on over here? Oh, he's got plenty of Goliaths. Plenty of Goliaths. The funny thing is, if you like, uh, change direction really quickly back and forth in front of mutas, they actually just don't shoot. So you sometimes see that when a player is going to port Wraith against mutas as well. If the mutas are chasing, if you just quick really, uh, if you just change direction back and forth on top of the mutas, they can't even shoot because they have to like be facing the target to shoot. So if you just like keep going back and forth, they just like stand there stupidly, which is really quite funny when it happens. Anyway, tearing out. Terra's sending out some more Vultures. Um, he's on three facts Goliath now. He has no command center or anything. He's just chilling. And all these mutas. Oh, did he see it? Oh, we saw it now, but it's too late. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's gonna grab one with the drones though. Well, sort of. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. That definitely could have been worse. Uh, oof. All right, so that was that wasn't the worst thing in the world. Meanwhile, he's actually getting plus one carapace. Is, uh, is Terra getting attacked? He is getting attacked, though. So it looks like Terra might just do a huge one base all in uh, with the three factory Goliath. Not too sure. Meanwhile, oh, look at this. A nice big fan out of the mutas to uh, catch any hiding vultures here. Look at, look at that minimap spread. I'm just, gonna, just look at the minimap. Very, very cool. Meanwhile, Hatchery now to help block additional run buys. Probably wants to build something here as well. No? No? Alright, whatevs. In the meantime, do we have any command center? Hey! We do have a command center, finally. It's a little bit slow, but that's okay. I mean, he needed enough units to defend against the mutas. He's got a lot of glass now. Meanwhile, Technics is not going for an attack. He's just scouting around, making sure there's absolutely no vultures to cause him any more grief. Because if he does go for an attack and vultures run into his base, 
he's gonna be really, really sad. He's actually not even committing here. I guess he just poked in here, saw there's no natural, and was like, well, I guess I don't really need to attack. If you've got no natural expansion, I'm not, you know, there's no pressure on me to kill you. So, looks like we're just gonna chill. Something just got upgraded there. Was that mines? I guess it was mines. So the mine's gonna be laid at these fresh expansions. He's probably gonna lay one here. Might want to lay one at the 12, and that'll be very nice and blocked. Meanwhile, we do have a good number of mutas actually coming in here towards the uh, Terrence Natural, and this Zergling. Oh my God! It's actually gonna see the commander. He's gonna see everything. Oh my God! That one Zergling was amazing. I don't know how he got through there. But that guy just gave Terror all, sorry, Technics all the information he needed. And I keep mixing up their names. There's so many times last game as well where I said, uh, like, Terror instead of Technics, or Technics instead of Terror. I just, like, went with it and changed my sentence entirely. You know, I was gonna be like, oh man, is Technics gonna break through here? But then I said tech, uh, Terror by accident, and I, was, and I just changed it to be like, oh, is, t is Terror gonna hold? It's crazy, man. Ugh. Confusing. Anyway, I should just call them Zerg and Terran, that's probably easier. See, that's another problem, is that Terror is really close to Terran. So even if, so like when I use the races, I still get confused. Ugh. Anyway, last is coming in, they do a plus one carapace. The god has a plus one attack, you should have range as well, I don't know why they're not shooting. Okay, there we go. He's gonna lose a handful of SCVs here, but... Um... Actually, I don't know, did he just not transfer that many? Huh, interesting. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! I like it. I like it. Is is Technic still just going mass muta? Oh, he's going mass muta. He's going mass muta against Goliath the Valkyrie. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Is is Tech is Terra gonna reveal the Valkyrie now? He's gonna reveal it. Oh shit! Oh, he's gonna lose it though. Oh no, no, he's not. Oh man, if <laughs> how does Zergs keep getting into this position against Terror? It's like they keep, like, it's the same thing with Michael. They somehow go mass muta against the exact anti composition, although somehow Technics is still making this work. Because Terra's uh, army positioning is not very good for some reason. So he's still getting harassed, even though he shouldn't. Oh, he might lose the Valkyrie though! Nope! Two Valkyries there, it's too much. As long as it, as well as the Vines, of course. So this is quite nice, but the problem here is that, uh, you know, Technics is only now just getting a third, and Terra's still mining away on his two bases. I mean, he has lost a good number of SEVs, but, well, actually, I mean, his, his saturation is really low now that I look at it. So economy-wise, I don't think he's even necessarily ahead, even though it's two base to two base, because he's not really mining that much um, off his bases. Anyway, now's the big attack, and this is a scary thing. How do you hold this with Muta Link against Goliath Valkyrie? Like, that is just gonna be so deadly. I think he should make a couple of Scourge, because, um... Terra doesn't seem to be very, very good at protecting these Valkyries. Actually, he could probably just focus these down. These are actually, one of them's really damaged. And, oh man, oh man, these Valkyries are the key here. He needs to keep these alive. Oh man, that's a lot of Muta Ling, though. Oh my god, that is so many units. It looks like Technic is just gonna win on unit count alone. Terra trying to micro back, but it's not nearly enough here. Wow, Technic is just saying, screw unit composition. I'm just gonna kill you with sheer weight of numbers, and Terra's army is devastated. One Valkyrie lives to tell the tale, and where'd he go? Or she, I guess. Oh man, that, that did not go well. Meanwhile, it's like trying to build an emergency bunker here, building emergency marines to not die. But that was a huge loss there. That army was so expensive. Mech armies are not something you can reproduce very easily. It looks like he's gonna hold with a nice defensive position here, a nice little wall, but... Man, that was a huge loss, and it looks also like he's gonna keep getting denied here by these mutas. For a sec, I just I felt like a Goliath popped into the extractor, but no, it looks like a sorry refinery, but it looks like a, no, it was crazy. That'd be pretty funny though. It's like emergency move into the refinery. Hey, it looks like that mine's getting cleared. Bottom right, uh, starting to mine. And Technics is quite happily staying on Muta Ling. Actually, just got Carapace, I think, for his Zerglings. Yep. So he is a okay. And Terra's not. Terra is quite a bit on the back foot here. So he's got four facts now, but the Muta's coming yet again. It doesn't look like Terra actually made that many Valkyries. 
I only made like two or three in total, I think. You know, one random vulture is moving down here. And oh, there's a couple more though. Okay. That's gonna be quite handy. This guy's not gonna do anything though. Oh. Uh no, nah, it's not even worth microing here. <laughs> oh man, what the hell? Oh man, that vulture. That vulture, I cannot believe he is still alive. That is shameful. That is just dirty. Look at this guy. He's got the biggest troll grin. Ah, oh, it does get taken down though. Anyway, we do have a third command center now on the way for Terra. Looks like he's gonna float that over to the mineral only. Uh, at the north of his natural, but I mean, he's gonna be quite spread out. If he takes this base, he's gonna have a lot of area to cover, and the mutas can easily bounce back and forth, you know, go into the main, snipe some stuff, run out again, you know, relocate, and his army is not really well equipped to deal with that. The Goliath Valkyrie is not very fast. The Valkyries are, are decently speedy, but if they get ahead of the Goliaths, they'll easily get sniped out by the mass muta. And meanwhile, it looks like uh, Technic's gonna pull one of the fancy Michael suicide scouts with one muta. I don't know if that was intentional though, he didn't really move it around very much. Might have just been a miss control or a miss rally or something. In the meantime, looks like uh, Terra is just gonna poke around with some more vultures. Is there a drone here? Not quite yet. Let's see, 85 supply against 97. Terra's still slightly in this uh, supply lead. He's in the third command center now, so if you can float that over and start mining, that'll be quite nice. But the thing is, remember, that is just a mineral only, so. The only thing he's, that's really good for is allowing him to pump out additional vultures. So he might want to add on maybe another factory or two and just dedicate that to spamming out vultures. Which will still be quite useful of course, just uh, to keep harassing and, and sniping drones and whatnot. And laying mines of course as well to help defend, although obviously against mutas that's not going to help as much. But we do see Technics has now started to add on some uh, some Hydralisks as well. Not going to stay on pure mutas, I mean especially because it looks like Terra is actually continuing with the Valkyrie production. Uh, eventually if he gets a critical mass of Valkyries, any number of mutas won't really help. Although actually, it looks like he's get, getting some vessels now. But the same thing with the vessels. You know, if you have too many mutas, just get, keep getting irradiated, and you have Valkyries and Glides, it's not going to go too well. So mixing in those Hydras as well is definitely uh, the way to go. And also, the mutas are coming down here. But look at this Terror preparing exactly. You know, this is what I'm talking about. The main base. Now that he's focusing his entire army up here at the mineral only. The main base is extremely vulnerable to counterattack. So getting these turrets is very, very good. I think he would probably move this over here so he's vision on the high ground. But, you know, not only the mutas, but also potential drops in the back with lings and hydro drops are very, very effective just on match point in general, and especially if the Terran's going for mech, which is very, well, well relatively immobile. Um, at least he, he's mainly, you know, he's got a lot of goliaths, so he can still walk around a little bit, and he's got the Valkyries as well, but still, uh, not an army that can come back and defend the main very easily. You know, all that poor Overlord does get obliterated, and Technic's gonna mine away happily here from the mineral only as well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, looks like he's uh, he's good. Now, notice you, know, you might think notice that he's still on the lair, so he's not getting a hive uh, for for quite a long time here, considering it's a ZBT, and that's obviously because um, his opponent is going for a mech. So when when the Terran goes for pure mech play, you can delay your hive for a very long time. It's not the same thing as against Bio, where you really need those defilers. Um, staying on Hydralisk, Mutalisk is very effective against mechs, so a lot of Zergs will just delay the Hive, spend the money on upgrades instead, additional bases, and see he's now just now starting the Queen's Nest, he's already at 120 supply, that is, you know, pretty late uh, compared to most ZBT, well, compared to a, a ZBT where the Terran's playing Bio. In the meantime, we do see additional factors being added, again, I think they'll probably be dedicated to Vulture production, considering he's got this mineral only, although... Some, you know, depending on the map, you can just use the extra minerals to build more command centers and just expand very quickly as well. But in this case, that top left base is going to be quite far away, and he's going to have to have enough units to comfortably defend this big area on the high ground. And I don't think he's quite prepared to do that yet, so... Um... Well, actually, I don't know. He's at almost 150 supply, and he's got 2-0, so maybe he can actually defend this area now. Uh, you know, while I wasn't looking, he's actually gotten a pretty decent sized army, and, you know, Technics, despite getting a pretty big advantage early on there, crushing that first attack, didn't really follow up with a huge attack of his own. So, you know, he's kind of allowing Terra to sort of pull it back. It's looking very similar to last game, in fact, where, again, Technic got a pretty big uh, lead in the early mid-game, and then kind of didn't capitalize, and, and is allowing the game to become a longer game. And the problem with that is on match point, I think it's a lot easier to split the map than it is on Jade. You know, once again, Jade had a very hard to take fourth base, and from there he had to kind of slowly creep down towards the bottom right. Uh, Terra did, but in this case, it's a two-player map, obviously. So if Terra can actually establish this high ground pod, he can hit the top left base there, 
And then he just has to think about getting the 12 or the 6, and if he takes this base, maybe maybe he wants the 12. I'm not really sure which is the easier base to take, to be honest. They're both quite far away. Uh, and they both have their own vulnerabilities. You know, usually you'd think that he'd take the 6 to split, to chop it that way. Oops, sorry. But uh, I'm not really sure. Hey, he just come in here, and looks like he does have a command center getting ready, but that's going to be denied a little bit. Oh, nice irradiated, but it does get split out fairly quickly. It was on an edge muta. So pretty easy split there for... Oh, but a second to radiate! And it looks like, oh my god, Tactics this time is not paying attention! Oh no! It does split that second Muta out, but not for taking quite a bit of damage from the irradiate. Meanwhile, his Hive is now ready. Um, but it doesn't look like he's got any Hive deck yet. He's still goofing off with the Mutas. I wonder if he's going to get uh, a Greater Spire and get Guardians with them. It doesn't look like he's gotten one yet. Um, just getting some more Zerglings. Let's try to poke around here, seeing what he's got. Looks like, uh, oh, nice little tank up here at the 6 o'clock. That's gonna get cleaned up fairly easily. Ooh, cute little, uh, D Matrix there. But unfortunately, these are, they're not gonna survive too long anyway. Yeah, it's not really gonna happen. Oh my god, what the hell is all this? Alright, well, that's pretty cool. Those tanks doing a little bit of damage. It's funny, in the, ori in the original version of Match Point, there was like a little couple of doodads here that meant you can drop here and you couldn't get attacked by melee units. But it looks like they removed that because it wasn't balanced. <laughs> because it made tank drops way too good back there. Anyway, uh, Terra Meemaw is now establishing this uh, this middle platform area. So it's going to allow him to take top left phase, but he's going to continue harassing this. Of course, he wants to deny this because, I mean, Tank is right now on five bases against his three. So even if Terra did get the top left, Tank would still be in a good uh, position economically. But you can see why this base is actually a, a curious base for Technics to take. I mean, normally you would have expected him to take the 12. Because this base is really very close to Terra's uh, main and easy for him to do harassment like this on. Um, I think we can actually even loot from the other side. So I think uh, Terra could like put a ghost here, or, or like here, and nuke like here, and still damage the hatchery, you know what I mean? So, uh, so that could be fun if he does that. These tank drops though are not being very efficient, he, these are very expensive, it's a, he's using a lot of tanks and dropships every time he does this, so I don't know why he keeps doing it in the same location where, you know, Technics is obviously prepared. Meanwhile, a bunch of Zoglin's gonna go deny this top left base, it hasn't actually quite made it over there yet. But uh, Terror, I mean, it just looks like he's content to play the uh, turtle game here. I'm just going to try and find out. Okay, he's not making a Ghost Academy. Sorry. Uh, go Covert Ops. Damn! Ghost Academy is what the SE2 thing's called, isn't it? Holy shit, that was bad. Ah, oh, that, was, that was terrible. Ghost Academy is a lot easier to say, though. You gotta admit. Although I guess Covert Ops sounds a lot cooler. Hmm. Yeah, so Ghost Academy, easier to say, Covert Ops, sounds more badass. Eh, it's debatable. See, Draw, Draw thinks that Ghost Academy sounds better as well. So, if you're gonna lynch anybody, you guys should lynch Draw and not me. I'm just saying. I do think Covert Ops does sound cooler, though. Anyway, uh, we have three tanks here defending a giant train of units. Just look at that trail on the minimap. Unfortunately for, uh, for Technics, there are a lot of reinforcements coming in for the Terran as well, so I don't think he will be able to kill the space. Nice Team Matrix on that leading tank as well. And with just Hydra laying and no support, there's no real way for him to take us down. Yeah, these Zergs are just running headlong into Terran metal. It's not going to be good. So that fell pretty quickly. Meanwhile. Some mines being laid randomly in the middle. He ran a Hydra's dying there. But Tinkix now actually has the 12 o'clock as well. And this and, and Terra can't allow this. He, you know, he has to split the map. He can't let the Zerg have both the 12 and the 6. One of those bases needs to be his. If, if Terra can take either the 12 or the 6, he should be able to, to, to win the game because he's already on the mech. You know, last game I was talking a lot about how he couldn't afford to switch to mech from bio. But because he's been going mech the whole game and he's been allowed to get maxed, I mean, he's on the composition that he wants for late game already. And if he splits the map, then, you know, he'll just be able to just camp and be mega efficient with his mech army. And there's not too much that, that Technics can do about it, especially because the main's already defended. I mean, look at this crazy anti-drop defense right there. You know, the biggest threat in the late game on this map is the Doom Drop into the main, especially when, you know, you've got a big static mech army. So, really nice job there by Terra to avoid that. But look at this, a big attack going onto this platform here. A lot of the army was pulled away to attack the 12 o'clock. A lot of Lings are flooding up here. Somehow he's just overwhelming with Ling numbers, but it looks like a layer of defenses a little bit further back may be able to hold here, and the Zerg army is getting very split up here. 
So the army of uh, so the Terra's army coming back is going to be able to clean it up. I don't know where like ultras are or anything. Like why does Terra not have ultras or sorry Technics? Excuse me. Uh, does he just not have gas? It, it looks like he's got almost no gas here for some reason. He's mining with two on this guy, so that's not ideal. And uh, well, he's got three on that gas, but yeah, it looks like he's just really, really short on gas right now. Ooh, well, it looks like uh, that's one block base is gonna fall here, so Technics is looking like he's in a little bit of trouble. I mean, you know, he's got a lot of supplies. At 165 supplies, he's still got a decent amount of money in the bank, but he just doesn't really have a unit composition or the upgrades, it seems, to deal with this maxed Terran army. And this, and this is the problem. This is why I was a little bit surprised that Terror, sorry, Technics didn't capitalize on his earlier advantage when he killed that initial Goliath attack. Because if you just sit around and you let the Terran max out on mech units, there's almost nothing you can really do to be cost efficient against that, you know? So I'm just really surprised he let that happen. In the meantime, he's gonna lose some more drones here at 6 o'clock. 12 o'clock base has fallen, as you can see. And another command center now for Terror looks like, well, it should be going to the 12. I don't know why it's going towards the middle of the map. That's a little bit weird. Did he misclick it to the 6? If this flies all the way from the top left to the 6 o'clock, I'm going to be a little bit upset. But oh, it looks like Technics might have found a small opening here. Instead of dropping the main base, he's dropping the natural expansion instead. But he does, it's not that big of a drop here, and uh, Terra's army is not that far away either, so he should be able to pull back and defend. Of course, Terra's rally point seems to be just here by the mineral only, so he can easily pull back and defend, although a lot of units now flooding up, provided... Uh, they were provided the opening by the drop and are now pouring up the ramp, although the sea shanks are now covering this ramp and they are going to take everything down. And you can see the Hydra Lurker is just not effective unit composition against what the Terran has here. You cannot fight mech with Hydra Lurker Ling, it's just never going to happen. And Technics plummeting down, he even loses his supply block now from losing those overlords. 116 supply against 174 Terror with a fantastic advantage in this game. is now also taking that 12 o'clock base, having killed the Zerg Hatchery there. Technics is in some serious trouble. He's going to have to do some... I don't know what he's going to do. I mean, the top left here is actually fairly vulnerable. If he can just counterattack there with a drop or something, maybe he can take that out. But as you can see, really far behind in, uh, in supply. And, and I don't really know what he's going to do. He's finally got some high tech out. He's got the followers. He's finally getting an Ultra's Cavern. He's actually got a quite a bit of money in the bank. I don't know if he's saving that. No, he's, just, he's now spent a, a bit of that. But might want to save some of that gas at least for some Ultralisks or something. But even Ultralisks are not you know, amazing against all of these tanks. I mean, look at this Terran army. Look at all those sea shanks. Those will just melt Ultralisks. Even if you have Dark Swarm, they'll melt Ultralisks. And here we go. Oh man, this is a bad angle for the Zerg to attack. He really needs to pull back. Technics does not want to fight here against these high ground tanks. He's pulling back. He wanted to deny the 12 o'clock, but it's not going to happen here. This 12 o'clock is going to start running, although uh, Terran does lift it for no good reason. And there's just nothing Technics can actually do about this. And now the map is split. And that is bad news bears for the Zerg here. Now the pressure is completely on the Zerg. Terror does not even need to attack. He can just sit back, defend, do the occasional harassment, and Te Technics is the one who has to, you know, reclaim this base or do something. And, uh, and I don't know what he's going to do here, because again, he seems to be really short on gas. He's invested in Ultralisk, so he's not going to try Guardians. He's made some Queens, in fact. Does he have the upgrades already? I assume he has Brueling, of course. Brueling, a uh, pretty normal move against... Uh, against mech nowadays, although he's moving out really quickly here without energy. Is he going to try and infest something? Is there like a damage command center somewhere? Uh, the, the command center needs to be below half HP in order for uh, in order for you to infest it. And I don't know if there's any below half HP uh, command center anywhere. That's pretty cute. Yeah, none of these are actually below half HP, so the queens are moving out this far. I mean, they're actually spotted now by the mines, so that seems a bit of a waste. Would have been better to keep them as a surprise. Anyway, oh man, Technics is now mining with one on this gas. Oh, that is so painful. He's got one guy on the six o'clock gas when he needs gas. Gas is the one resource he needs right now. Of the two resources he can get, gas is the impo is the one he wants, and he's not getting it. Uh oh, he fixed it. Oh, thank God he fixed it. Although, it looks like the Sunken's bugging him out though. Like, what the hell are these drones doing? Why is he going all the way on that side? Look, what, why why is he doing that? Oh my god, so stupid. Alright, freaking drones. These drones are like conspiring to hurt Technics. He should probably just put four guys on this gas. Ah, oh, look at that stupid pathing. Although, I, actually, it's not really delaying the gas now that I look at it. It's not really delaying the gas that much. Uh, anyway, it's like Technics. Oh man, he's on he's on Lurker Ling. Oh, that's, that's not the correct composition, I don't think. Lurker Ling is anti-bio. Mech units don't care at all. 
The Lings don't really do anything. The splash damage from the tanks will take them down easy peasy. And Lurkers um, are good against Marine because Marines clump and can get like two shotted. Uh, Mech doesn't get two shotted by Lurkers and it doesn't clump as much. So it's not nearly as effective. And you know, I mean, Terra's max, he's just banking money now. Um, Technus is getting close to max as well, but against this mech composition, max on max, I mean, basically, I think Terra's gonna have to like get some really good drops or something. He should probably bring all his overlords and just drop everything directly on Sea Shanks. Because there's not that many Goliaths now that look at it. It's very tank heavy uh, at that platform. Meanwhile, though, oh man, Terra just doing the annoying drop position right here. Oh god, this is a pain in the butt. Oh god, the pain in the butt. The butt is in pain right now. Oh, it's okay, he's got it. Oh, yeah, alright, he's got it. But in the meantime, oh no, Queens! Bye bye, Queens. I don't know why they were here. It's such a weird location to just leave them. Anyway, so, I mean, Technics has still got a decent amount of money. He's still mining from, you know, three of his bases. So, the game, I think, will still go on quite a bit longer. But I just don't know what Technics is supposed to do now. Like, the main is almost undroppable. Maybe he can actually drop the natural and run into the main. That would be quite cool. I mean, this, this base is no longer worth attacking. This base is maybe worth attacking, but it's quite far away. And you'd have to fly over the Terran army. But again, look at this. It looks like relatively few Goliaths here. Very, very tank heavy. So maybe if he did like a sudden switch into Mass Muter or something, he could kill a bunch of stuff. But the problem is he has no money to do that. So, you know, theoretical unit compositions are all well and good. But if he can't actually afford to do it, and it doesn't really matter. Oh man, so... Hmm... Alright, he's got, he's got a few queens again. I mean, this... This really, I mean, look at this. The Goliaths are not even near the tanks. He just needs to drop directly on here. If you need to win a massive engagement and kill all the tanks, because Terror, even though he has a lot of minerals banked, he doesn't have a lot of gas. So imagine losing 20 siege tanks. He can't re-afford to build that. Or, wow, he can't afford to rebuild that. <laughs> Mixed up that sentence there. But anyway, yeah, the, the point is... Oh. The point is, is a randomly irradiated Twiler. Oh, he's doing random drops again. And this is exactly the kind of thing that Terra can afford to do now because he's split the map. He doesn't need to go for a giant attack. He can just be super obnoxious and do like these little mini drops. And that's completely fine. And... Well, it's not going to be that effective. Or is it? Oh! Emergency evacuation. So we're just chilling. I think Terra should make some ghosts. I think that's a good plan. He's actually getting air plating now. Why is he getting air plating? Look at that. He's getting both plating upgrades. Is he making battle cruisers? He's not making battle cruisers. Terra really needs to figure out his late game ceremonies. Seriously, dude. Ghosts or BC is one or the other. BC's late game TVZ are actually really effective as well. They're not even just a BM unit. They're actually surprisingly good. Especially if the Zerg's on like Ultra Ling, Defiler, you just get a bunch of BCs that's got no anti-air. In this case, Technics does actually have max upgraded Hydras, so I guess BCs wouldn't be that great without upgrades. But they'd still be pretty effective. So this like Terra's actually decided he can just go for the kill now. He's just on siege everything, although he's left most of the units here defending the 12. But he's moving these units off from the middle platform. And uh, he's going for the attack. Where is he going? Looks like he's going towards the 6 o'clock. That is the freshest base here. It's going to have the most resources left over. Most of the other bases should be mined out, if not already. It looks like this base is about to be mined out. So Technics is going to be about is about to be mined out, except on the 6 o'clock. So if he loses this, that's going to be basically game over for him. Except that he has... Actually, both players have over 5,000 minerals banked. I just heard a Parasite there. Did you guys hear that? It looks like Parasite on a vessel. Not that that's going to do much good. Well, here we go. The big tank mass coming down here, and... Oh, there come the queens, though! Where are the broodlings? Where are the broodlings at? Where? Where the... Did he not get broodling? Oh my god, don't tell me he didn't research broodling. He's not getting it. Why didn't he have broodling? Let's go. What? Does he... Does he have it? He must have it, because he's not getting it. I'm really confused right now. 
Meanwhile, this parasitic guy is going to chill over here. I don't really get it. <laughs> I don't understand because he's... He's not getting it, so he must have it, but why didn't he use it? Because that... That move was clearly like a, oh shit, I tried to, to broodling you, but I didn't research it move, right? But he... He's not getting it. I'm so confused right now. I am just completely confused. Anyway, uh, tech, terror, sorry, terror is actually going for the natural instead of going for the six o'clock. I think going for, the six, uh, going for the six o'clock probably would have been better. But at this point, I don't think it really matters because there's no way for Technics to engage this at all. Like, I think Technics should just go for a giant counterattack or something. I don't see how he can kill this army. Just look at these Lings melt. Oh man. Oh, hey, there's a Broodling! Woohoo! Brudlinga! Oh, 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 oh! Hey! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, hey! Ha! Okay, so he did have it. I don't know what happened that first engagement. Pretty weird. Oh, I was using him on Goliath, so that's not good. They need to be hitting tanks, not Goliath. Really need to be hitting tanks. It's not worth it if you hit a Goliath. Get it, get it, get it! Ah! Uh, I'm just like rooting for queens now. I'm not rooting for either player. I just want queens to do well. Meanwhile, these guys are all pretending to be drones and trying to mine from the extractor, but, you know, they're not. And, oh! Oh! Brilinga! Yeah! Nice, too. Very nice. So, that's being quite efficient. I mean, getting one tank kill basically pays for the queen already, plus more. Because the queen's 100, 100, and the tank's 100, 150, 100. That's why it's not worth it if you get a Goliath, because Goliath's only 150 gas. Hey! Manor turrets! What the hell? Terror, bro! It's Manor CC, not Manor turrets. You're doing it wrong. Terror, you're doing it wrong. Although, this presumably is like anti queen defense, which is hilarious. Or something. I don't even know what that is. Does he really need anti queen defense with turrets there? Is that really necessary? <laughs> They're gonna finish too. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, I guess I guess that's good too. Is it, wait, why is there a command center here? Where did that even come from? What? There's a lot of turrets as well. Terrors is going turret happy here in this game. Anyway, Technics has you know six thousand and sixteen hundred gas. Six thousand minerals, sixteen hundred gas. And he just doesn't know what unit composition to make, because there is none. Because this army is like too strong. The, the the main way to beat this is to first of all not allow your opponent to split the map. So like on four player maps, you have to just keep wearing him down. You know, constantly dropping, attacking, just trying to get small unit engagements instead of letting him roll around with his giant mech ball. Because you know it's, it's so hard to actually be efficient at all against this. I mean, plagues are also very good, obviously, because the Terran mech doesn't heal itself. But otherwise, very, very difficult. And I mean, you can see, Technics is maxed out. He's got a lot of bank. He's making Ultra Lane Queen. Hmm, seems dubious. Don't know if that's the best idea. Anyway, I don't know what this drop is doing, by the way. No idea. And well, the 6 o'clock base is now under siege. Texas is going to be forced to engage here and it's going to be a bad angle. He's going to walk headlong into the army instead of getting flanked. Oh man, he's like trying to spread out as much as he can. But there's just not enough space here. There's not nearly enough space. Oh man, he's pulling back. He's not going yet. He needs to go. He doesn't want to lose his base. This is the last mining base. He's got to go. He's got to go. Is he just going to sack it? Oh my god, he's just going to sack it. He doesn't even care. He's not even going to try. He's just going to let it go. He's got enough bank. He doesn't actually care. Wow, that's interesting. But that means that Terra can actually mine out the rest of these minerals. Uh... What the... Of all the things, they killed the drone? <laughs> he just really wanted to kill that drone. Even though you have no minerals left to mine, you shall not have drones. And... Well, there we go. Terra's actually going to take his base. It's barely got 400 minerals left to mine. Well, actually, it's got like maybe 800. Oh man. All right, so now <laughs> I'm wa I'm waiting for t for Technics to bleed out. I think Terra's actually just gonna try and make Technics bleed out. He's not gonna try and kill him, and that's gonna take a while, as we can see. But you know, the game is effectively over at this point. 
Whee! Yeah, that's the way to do it. Quad Goliath drops. I can't even slap some queens. If he slapped like three queens, that would have been worth it, actually. <laughs> he only got one, though, I think. So, we're chilling. We're chilling. Are we making BCs? Nope. Man, why does he not even have an add on? At least, like, you know, tease us a little bit. You know, make an add on or something. Oh. Come on, Terror. Do something, BM. He's like, he's like being an excessively nice guy right now. See, you know what happened? See, you, you know what this is right now? This is Terra being an overly nice guy, and now we're friend zoning him. See? Because this was a good game, right? Like, he came back from really far behind in the mid game, and now he's won the game. So, you know, we should be all happy and be like, oh yeah, Terra, you're so amazing. But then he ended up being too nice and not BMing now that he's won. So now, now we're not happy anymore, right? Now, now he's entered the friend zone by being too nice. And we don't like this game anymore. You see what happened? You see? You see how StarCraft is like the perfect analogy for dating? This is this is exactly what's going on. So Terror, you just messed it up. You lost your chance. Now we are in fact not going to go home with you. You blew it, bro. You blew it. So oh, so we have some kind of killing. That's good. That's good. Awesome blood. Alright, oh, Broodling, Broodling, he's got like 8 queens, oh, there we go, come on, more tanks, more tanks, you got, you got more, bro. Technics doesn't seem to be particularly, uh, familiar with using queens. Does he just not, like, he's not Broodling very quickly, and he's like, you know, flying around and being very hesitant with them. Um, it doesn't seem like something he actually uses a lot in the late game, I guess he doesn't, I don't know, find himself in this position very often. He doesn't seem very comfortable with it. Anyway, so I guess, I guess we're just gonna chill. So Terra's now got the six o'clock and the twelve o'clock, and this glance hammer that I don't really know what it's for. Like if he floated this over the base and just like you know did a dance, that would be cool, right? Command center dance, you know, pretend he's like the uh, the mothership from Independence Day and just like zap the hive. That'd be pretty cool. He's not gonna do it. He's actually just gonna bleed him out. The funny thing is, this is like exactly how I play against Zerg as well. I never attack, I just defend until they die. But that takes a very long time. <laughs> this is taking a very long time. The interesting thing, you know what the interesting thing about this is though? Is that if you think about it, I don't. he might be doing this on purpose because he knows that this is still game two in a series. He won the game already, he doesn't need to really try. But if he just gives Technics a little bit of hope, Technics might be playing like at his max capacity, trying to make an epic comeback, even though Terra knows he can't. So Terra is letting Technics get really tired and wear himself out with no risk, right? Because he can just sit here with and just not even do anything. Like he's down to 200 APM, not even really microing, you know, he's not doing anything. And Technics, meanwhile, is like racking his brains trying to figure out how to beat this this army. You know, he's like goofing off the queens and stuff, and Terra's just like, oh, let me just hit that siege button. You know, so maybe maybe this is part of his game plan, I don't know. This could be like some sick, serious strategic planning or something. So, uh, so yeah. And of course, because Technics, even though, you know, he's like, what, what the, why are all the drones in here? Is he gonna drop drones on tanks? That'd be pretty cool. But Technics is running out of money, though. And obviously he's got no income, so he's gonna have to make something happen soon. He's not even maxing. I think he, I think Technics is actually planning to just kill everything with Broodling only, so he doesn't lose any units of his own. And then like eventually, if he waits for enough Broodling energy, he'll just win by killing everything with Broodlings. And while that might work in theory, I mean that would take like hours because each Broodling costs 150 energy. It just takes so long, even if it was possible. But look at this! He's killing so many tanks, though. He's been killing tanks non-stop with these queens. This is actually fairly effective. I'm gonna try to find a multi-kill queen. Yeah, see, that queen's got two kills. Not many of them have two kills, but if they all start getting multiple kills, that could be quite good. And the thing is, 
Terror is going to be mined out pretty soon as well, so you know, he's got 4,000 minerals banked. Not very much gas, but of course gas is infinite in Brood War. Unlike in SE2 where geysers run out, Brood War geysers actually never run out. They just get depleted, but that means you can still mine them. You just get 2 gas instead of 8 gas per thing. So you just get infinite gas. That's why I think late game PvZ is actually unfair, because uh, Protoss can just keep make making Archons even if they're mined out, and just be like, they don't even care if they have no minerals. So they have infinite gas. But, I mean, the thing is, Terra actually can't goof off too much, because if Terra, if Technix keeps broodlinging all his tanks... I mean, you know, look at this. Terra's actually... He's running out of bank. Okay, he's gonna go now. But Technix, I mean, he's killed so many tanks with the broodlings. But this army's not nearly as scary as it was. I mean, okay, it's still pretty damn scary. He's still maxed. But some of his units are still like in factories and stuff. You can see he's still got some random units in the back. So... Oh! Oh! And here's the mass Broodling! I don't know why he's got a Goliath to help out here, or even Vultures to help kill the Broodlings. The thing is, if he, if he, even if he doesn't kill the Queens, he's got to have something to kill the Broodlings, or else the Broodlings will kill his tanks as well. Man, I swear to God, if Terra loses this, I'm, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave. Just gonna rage quit my house. Uh, is this game gonna be a draw? Could you imagine if this is a draw and we have a regame? Oh man, that would just be silly. There's no way though, right? There's no way this is gonna be a draw. This can't possibly be a draw game, can it? Oh my god. Cause this this went from being Terra's guaranteed win to now being like he still should win, but it's not guaranteed anymore. Uh, and look at this, he's getting broodling to shit right now. Dude, Terra. Why? He's still not making up. He's making like two Goliaths. Oh man, this is just. This is not good. Look at this, he's getting broodling all day. Oh man, somebody, somebody needs to go back through this replay and count the number of tanks that have been broodling to death. Oh, I didn't get that one. But look at this, Terra's not max anymore. Terra is not max, and he's still losing tanks. This is impossible. This just cannot be happening. Terror Pro, if you lose this, you can't lose this, can you? Look at this, he's losing so many tanks, and he's not even killing the queens. He's like irradiating them every now and then. But, but, uh, but still, look at the supply though. Technics has basically got no bank, and he's down 100 supply, and Terror's still at 180. Yeah, so I think Terra can still roll him, and now the Queens looks like they've lost most of their energy already. Oh, but here we go! Tankix is moving up! He's got Defilers! He's gonna close with the tanks! Is he? Oh, he's not gonna close with the tanks! He needs to close with the tanks! Oh, he can't do it! Oh no, that could've been a big attack. But he lost it. Oh man, that would've been huge. This Queen's gonna have three kills. That's a little bit silly. Oh man, this one has three kills too. They're all multi-kill queens now. <laughs> I've never seen that many que queen kills. Anyway, so now the queens come in, but they don't have energy. So... Technix is slowly going to start losing buildings. And Technix is now completely broke. So I think, despite that little bit of nervousness at the end, I think Terra's okay. I think he's got this now, right? Right? Maybe? Maybe? Do we want to just play for another half an hour though, just for lulz? We can do that too. Dang! This game. I don't know if this counts as a good game or a bad game. This is a pretty good game until it took Terra an hour to win. Way! That's so cool to watch. Ugh. Oh, oh. Now I want to see somebody like uh, Photoshop the the scene from the Alien movie. You know, like the, the chest bursting scene where the, the little baby alien comes out. Except do it with a siege tank instead. Cause that's like basically what's happening, right? Like aliens are chest bursting out of siege tanks and killing them. Something something needs to uh, to shoot that. Alright, so this base is gone. Obviously the bases don't actually matter, because there's no mining. And there isn't even any money, so it's not even like losing larva matters. But I guess you gotta eliminate him at some point, right? Oh my god, Terra's got no money. WHAT?! 
Oh my god, Terra's got no money. Tankus, how many queens does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And he's gonna start drone and ling dropping. If he can actually just brooding the rest of the tanks, he could actually force a draw. He could actually force a draw, I think. He's got 52 supply, but if he just buys enough time to get queen energy to brooding the rest of the tanks, Tech Terror has not enough money. <laughs> no way! Oh my god. I actually kind of want it to be a draw now. Come on, Technics. Technics, you got this, bro. Oh no, what's going on here? Just, where are the queens? Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So that's the that's these seven tanks, like, all gone. Yeah, he can actually do it. For sure. He can actually force a draw, I think. <laughs> this game just went from being, you know, it went from being awesome to sort of bad to being awesome again, because, because Technics, in theory, because look at this, he's just sitting here regenerating queen energy. This queen has four kills already. By the way, let me remind you, Broodling costs 150 energy, so even if a queen has max energy, you can only cast one. So the fact that this queen has casted four and killed four things with it is absolutely absurd. I mean, Terra's just waiting. He's just allowing the queens to get energy. I don't know why he's doing this. Why are you allowing the queens to get Broodlings again? If he just attacks when they don't have energy, he can just kill them. There's nothing here to be scared of. He can scan here and be like, oh, is he just like, is he scared of Defiler? Just a radio defiler. Oh, we just need no vessels. Oh my god, wait, why is he not a. Oh no, he's got two vessels. <laughs> Technics! Dude, Technics, don't provoke him, man. Technics, you need to not provoke him. You need him to just sit there until you have energy to brooding him. Technics should start, like, you know, discussing metaphysics with him or something, you know? Like, the, you know, talking about the meaning of the life, of life, the universe, and everything. And, and engage Terra in some really interesting conversation and just like every now and then randomly brooding some tanks and then just keep talking about you know interesting things and then eventually he'll just kill everything I mean this uh oh uh oh uh oh uh. what the he has minerals he has mineral income Technics has 500 minerals left to mine oh but look at this T Terra has actually figured out that he has a spell that also kills things in one hit, and his spell- OH SHIT! He did the Lurker Egg trick! Lurker Eggs don't take damage from a Radiate! Oh my god, no way, Technics! Technics, you are the man! This- This is a time when this actually matters so much, it's unbelievable. <laughs> that is sick. Oh man, but see the thing is, right? If you think about it, Irradiate basically does the same thing as Broodling, but it costs half the energy and takes a little bit longer. So in theory, if Terra has Irradiates, he should be able to do the exact same thing that Technics is doing with his Queens, but faster. Like he's actually just figured this out, <laughs> but, but he's actually just not even going for it. Dude, bro, Irradiate, just Irradiate stuff, man. Ah, oh, bro, bro, dude. Look at this, Technics actually realizes it's possible she's made a bunch of Scourge. Where'd the Queens go? Oh, they're hiding in the corner. Okay, they all have energy now. They should go back and I'm brooding something. So... Um... Right. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Three hits. Could have been worse, I guess, but that wasn't very effective. Now I bet he's wishing he didn't waste all that money building these random ass turrets. What is he even doing? What is he waiting for? Where are the queens? Oh, queen number one. Ah, oh, it's gonna die though. What? Oh, they attacked the broodlings instead. Oh, that so should have died, but they attacked the broodlings. That was really lucky. Could you imagine if this got EMP'd though? I don't think Terra has EMP though. He doesn't use it. Oh, we have an attack. Oh, the SCVs are coming. The SCVs are coming. Here we go. But this broodling on all the queens though. Here we go. The broodlings are gonna come out. Where are the queens? The queens need to come out right now. 
Where are the queens? He should use the queens while there's a sunken here as well. Where are the queens? And oh man, the vessels are all falling. The vessel, one vessel remains. Where are the queens? The queens have energy. Why is he not using them? They're all max energy. What's he waiting for? If he doesn't use them while they have max energy, they're just losing energy research. Or no, energy recharge. Sorry, not research. What is he waiting for? Oh, this is not going to end well. The Goliaths are in position. He's going to lose some. Oh, man. I, 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 I don't know why he didn't go when there was a sunken there. The sunken would have tanked all the shots, and he could have proven everything. Oh, man. Now, now he's dead. I think I think Technics is finally dead here. 114, 42. The queens still have energy though. Some of them still have energy. They still use the queens. But that's a lot of units left. I think even if he gets all the broodlings off perfectly on tanks, I think he'll still lose to the A move. Oh, and there's an irradiate. I think he did a lurker, yeah. So Is this it? Is this the game? Is this the game? Is is this is this is this what the What did he even irradiate? Oh he got a queen. Man, terror, he had one vessel, he still couldn't protect it, but Well Technics is figuring out what to do. Oh he's gonna go breathing some of the things now. Oh he's found the tanks, he's found the tanks with no Goliaths! He's found the tanks. Oh, he's gonna lose one though. Oh, he's still gonna lose a queen. All right, he got three tanks. It looks like, but now he's getting eliminated. Looks like oh, mass overlord migration. Looks like there there was a random unit here somewhere. There's a zergling and there's a queen. He found a queen. So I think why is Technics not leaving the game? He's at 25 supply. <laughs> He found a queen, so he's like, well, I can clearly win this with this one queen. Oh, man. If only queens could consume and he would just eat all his overlords, that would be really awesome. Oh, he has the defiler still. I didn't know that. But as you can see, the defiler does very little. So it looks like the overlords went on a tour of the map. And... Oh, that was a mistake. That was a huge mistake, and now he's at 19 supply. And now he's defending a main base that has nothing. So now Terran's army is going to go kill everything else. Oh, he's going to get eliminated. He's got no buildings here. <laughs> 1k! You're such a liar! Oh my god, Terror! You are such a lying piece of shit! What the? He's got fit. No! Technics, he's got no minerals! Don't believe him! It's a bluff! It's a bluff, you gotta call, man! You gotta call all in! What? He doesn't have 1k minerals? Is is K like 50 in Spanish or something? Oh, GG from Technics Terror! Evens up the score 1 to 1. I think he should be disqualified for that last move, though. That is clearly a disqualification right there. 1k minerals! Yeah, right! Oh, man. 1k mineral. <laughs> oh, I gotta say, that was a pretty nice nice cherry on the end of that game there. <laughs> okay, so that game was an hour long, so I'm gonna take a break, and we're gonna go to, uh, to watch some ads. Huh. And we have uh, <laughs> the rest of the series to go, so it's one to one. Potentially three more games. If there are three more hour long games, I don't know if I'll survive. But, uh, well... BRB